This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from Diagostini. If you'd like to build along, pop along to diagostini.com where you can order one for your very own. They also have several other part work build up models that you can build for everything from cars to boats and everything in between. So I'd like to thank them very much for giving me the opportunity to build this so you can all watch and see exactly how it all goes together. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to stage 10 of Build Your Own Ford GT. This is another Deja Vu episode, uh, a very quick build and easy assembly, uh, as all of these assembly stages are this month, for some reason, just the way it falls, I guess. Uh, but we're looking at the Ford GT, the early prototypes, which should be quite interesting. Um, yeah, different, some differences. I think the back is slightly, slightly different shaped. Uh, engine looks very similar, but I assume it's different. Don't know anything much about engines to be able to tell if there is a difference there. Uh, but what we're doing is putting the um, trim on the co pilot seat, the co driver's seat, rather. Uh, very simple, exactly what we did before, but for a different seat, and it's going to go in there just like it was before. Uh, we're looking a little bit of interest. They've obviously got an extra page. Uh, so they're telling us about the, the harness, the seatbelt, the five point restraint system, um, four anchor points, and obviously the middle clip. Uh, that's it. The harness must be able to hold them in all directions, not just, you know, normal three point. This is a little bit more secure. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I'll clear the bench. We'll get this done in no time at all. Yes, so the seat that we built last time and the trim that we've received this time, uh, obviously it's a different side, so it's the, the shaping of it is a little bit different. Uh, but once again, it's just a simple matter, slipping it over, getting the little blobs to fit through all of the little holes. And it just sits on there, just like that, very similar to the driver's seat that we did last time. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We now have two seats. Uh, I think next time we're going to be putting the seats together, but I could easily be wrong. But join me for that and find out what's going to happen next time on Build Your Own Ford GT. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.